So allergy syndrome is a progressive disease um, driven by, it's a genetic mutation. Uh, half of the time it's spontaneous mutation, half of the time it's familial. And so it's distributed equally around the world because of that, because it's not always familial and in pockets regionally. Um, and the, these children really, it's multifactorial, multisystemic disorder. So they can have vascular issues uh, with vascular issues, ocular, uh, cardio, uh, cardiac issues, a uh, liver. And one of the biggest problems across this indication is if there's liver involvement, the symptomology associated with that is very, very severe. And so the quality of life can be quite debilitating, uh, driven by these elevated cerebral losses. So if I may explain what that means a little bit, if that's okay. So uh, with uh, cholestasis, what we mean by that is there is a, a inability of bile acids to get out of the liver. For you and I, 95% of our bile acids circulate around and around every day. 5% of them go out. And in this case, in, in children with allergy syndrome, they retain these bile acids and these bile acids are toxic. They're retained in the hepatocytes and they get higher and higher and higher and higher because they can't get out, they can't recirculate. And that problem then results in liver damage, it results in uh, significant pruritus, and by pruritus, I mean itch. And this is not the type of itch that you and I can think of, even the worst itch like poison ivy, which is so bad. This is like really underneath the skin. And we've heard from families that regardless of everything else they might be dealing with, cardiac disease, ocular issues, poor growth because, they, because of the, the lack of bile acids really help you, um, absorb fat soluble vitamins and lipids they also have nutritional deficit as a result of allergy for a variety of reasons including bile, uh, poor bile acid um, recirculation uh, the thing that really hits families the most is the puritis because these children do not sleep because of it families describe waking up um, and these are these are babies or toddlers and and children that they they smell blood on the sheets in the room when they go in the morning, oftentimes parents don't sleep because they really need to help them uh, to keep them from scratching themselves to bits. They really literally kind of self-mutilate. It affects school, it affects quality of life. Uh, the dynamic in the household uh, becomes very significantly impacted. Um, and as a result, these children will go to a liver transplant because of the puritis. So just think about that for a second. You know, because of this debilitating nature of the itch, they will receive a liver transplant and physicians describe it as treating one disease for another because when you have a liver transplant or any transplant, you're on immunosuppressive therapy the rest of your life and that, that there's a lot of complications associated with that.